Dad, this is not the car you ordered. Take it easy, Rusty. Ed, uh, this is not the car I ordered. I distinctly ordered the uh, Antarctic Blue Super Sports Wagon with the CB and the optional Rally Fun Pack. You didn't order the uh, Metallic P? Metallic P? No, Antarctic Blue. The sports wagon. This isn't even the right model. All right, this is the first episode of Rochester Street Scene's local car review, okay? And we're going to travel out to 315 to review one, and that's fucked up. You mean to tell me there isn't a single badass car in the 585? We had to travel all the way out to where dogs and men potentially make sweet love making. This car here reminds me of the National Lampoon movie. You've seen it, Park Griswold Station Wagon, mostly Randy Quaid's love child. God bless and this beauty with a metal plate in its head is owned by Kenny. It's not the first unique vehicle I've seen him design, but it's my personal favorite. This is a 1983 Chevy Malibu estate wagon, and Kenny says it came with, right from the sunny state of Florida. I can see it now, all right? A lovely 73-year-old woman, scotch in one hand, methanol-flavored cigarettes in the other. And then she probably died right there in that passenger seat. Anyways, he says it's the luxury model with the better trim package, fancy wood grain. That's sort of time that Randy Quaid says, why pay for taxes when you can live in an old nuclear testing ground? Cousins! <laughs> what are you making my spread, huh? Can you believe it? They used to test H-bombs on this beautiful piece of property. Just by looking at it, it kind of looks like it came out of there, so. At the end of the day, even though by the parts list it was put together with whatever shit he had laying around, uh, it's badass, okay? It's no longer a boat, all right? Just floating around on the road. This thing sits like it means business. It has a 350 with 461 heads, cans, big old intake manifold, MSD, and 3800 stall. It's not just a farm truck crusher, it's a take your mom home and crush her and send her the bill. This will crush the dreams of any kid with the 97 Geo that's delivering pizzas. Because this delivers a can of whoop ass and fucking pizzas. Hold on one second. Hold on. Yes, this is uh, Kenny's delivery service. Of course he can deliver a pizza in 12 seconds. What do you think, this is a Mustang breaking down on the side of the road? All right, we'll be right there. This is the part in the video where I drive around and tell you how much I like or dislike a car. Kenny's car is so ridiculously loud I can't even hear myself think let alone give a review. This car is perfect for Kenny and I'm pretty sure you need to be as crazy as Randy Quaid to drive one. The factory miles per gallon gauge doesn't work. Battery light doesn't work. Even the simple clock in the car does not work. The only thing that does work is the oil pressure and engine engine temp and Kenny says that's all that matters. And with that level of craziness he's kind of right. With all these new cars with gizmos and Bluetooth this, my car included, these kind of dilutes a car down. You forget how the whole point of why you're building a fun car. To have fun with the car. By no means was I having fun with a manual steering, manual brakes, or manual automatic transmission, but I can see how this nut job is. And that is why I tell people the difference between buying a Mona Lisa or painting a Mona Lisa is what you put into it. And this Mona Lisa has a droopy eye and a Def Leppard shirt on. On my final note, this is why this is a cool car. Take that Griswold and shove your family vacation right up your hole. Yeah, man.
Fucker shit, mother. Fucking cunt. <laughs>